Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We're back to daily vlogging. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you come back every day. Um, we'll probably do a little recap in a little bit, but clearly, whew, I am red. I went for a run, but it rained all night. So it was Chicago humid, which if you don't know the area, Chicago, it's crazy humid. Um, I didn't get a shot on the lake because my buddy Steve from Tampa called me during it because he was on a run. So we were keeping each other motivated. But funny enough, a little glimpse in our recap for the past week. Steve was here. Steve from Tampa. My buddy Steve from Tampa was here with his wife for two nights in Chicago and we didn't even get to see him because of the family being sick. But anyway, the vlog is back. Let's have a good Sunday. of Xandar. As you have seen, your world and ours were born at the same moment. It is our desire to share this wondrous technology with your people so that together we might explore new worlds and create a brighter tomorrow. It's just like so fun to like do a new ride and a new ride that's just awesome and I love the song I got. <sighs> that was great. So great. I am going to go run over to Guardians and ride it, but I wanted to show you how beautiful Spaceship Earth looks. Then I realized you can actually see rock work and construction for the Moana Pavilion or like the Life of Water or Water thing majig that they're building right here. Here we go. Time for a trip to Xandar. Wonders of Xandar. From our world to yours. Here it goes. Second ride of my life. I love this thing. Oh, gorgeous. Wow. He's big. They're playing my Nemo egg song and I'm like, 
emotional. So lucky to have these two. So, so grateful. Teddy had a, a little moment with a tight tummy. So I laid him down here to do some little exercises. And this view has just calmed him down. I'm on the next ride. Let's go. All right, so that's my second time on that and I think I figured it out. It was one of two things. Either I had more food in my stomach this time or I didn't look around as much. I just stuck, I kept my head straight and like looked in the direction that the vehicle was facing and it was like a totally different ride and absolutely, absolutely incredible. Now I just realized I went the wrong direction. I gotta head back to uh, the seas. Alright, I'm gonna go check. I think I just heard lightning. Um, we're in a very privileged pickle because there's really no pickle while you're in Disney World that is too bad because you're in Disney World. Um, it's looking like we may not be going, that we're not going to Epcot tonight, but there's like, we're keeping hope that we might go to Crescent Lake and get food at Yacht and Beach. On the other side of my building, see right there, gondolas are not running. Which makes sense, I heard lightning literally as I was walking over here. Um, we're just, we don't want to, we don't think we want to grab something to eat at Pop Century again. And Art of Animation actually has basically the same menu, because they're the same resort. So we thought maybe even if we don't go to Epcot, that the gondolas would come back up and we could take it over to Yacht and Beach, because we spent a lot of time at Boardwalk, we haven't spent a lot of time at Yacht and Beach. But as you can see, there's more thunder. So, I love all Disney resorts. I love Values, love Moderate, love Deluxe, love DVC. They all have different things that I love and don't love about them. One of the things I always miss when we're at a Deluxe or a Value, or not a Deluxe, a Value or a Moderate is the balconies. Because this is like, it's not terrible. It actually is cool now. I would love to have a balcony to have coffee. I just had two coffees, probably I'm amped. And just hang out with the doors open with like Must Do Disney on in the background, the AC flowing out. Um, that's what I'm missing right now at this value, but I love value. Like we said yesterday, this is the, this was the, uh, my first Disney resort ever in my whole life. Our last night. <laughs> what are you doing? My shoulder hurts. My shoulder pains. We're like 90% packed. 93.2% packed. We're going to Magic Kingdom tomorrow. Our flight is late. We're not getting picked up by our fake Magical Express until 7.30, 5 yeah, p.m. So it's a very late flight. We have a whole day of fun tomorrow. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Come on. Who is it? Look it. Can you give, give him a hug? Can you give Donald a hug? She's a little nervous. We were a little uncertain of up close and personal visits with the characters, but <laughs> he was excited to see them and how cool that they're doing that out in front. All I want to do is get my little baby a first visit button, but apparently a lot of people have been experiencing magic for the first time, which is incredible because the Magic Kingdom is out of first visit buttons and a lot of locations are out of celebrating buttons because we're going to do a celebrating first visit. Um, but we'll find, a, we'll find a button somewhere at some point today. I managed to find my family because I left them to go grab that. I did not realize that these sweatshirts <laughs> lit up. <laughs> Look at that. Exit to your right onto the moving belt and watch your step. What else are you supposed to do after you have to those still besides examine rocks in the shade? We gotta go back to mom. Characters are coming, characters are coming. So we came into baby care 
and I have not been in the new nursing room. I think we've showed the, the main room before. But they have butterflies and these cute little teapot lights, charging station, rocking chairs. This is so nice. Watching Friendship Fair from outside of baby care. The strollers aren't allowed in James E. Snoozlin. Look who's away! For another lightning lane as a whole family we're now going to try to go on one doom buggy we've been staying out of the sun yes. we've been staying in ac we've been watching shows james did fall asleep last time he was on this time <laughs> so maybe he'll stay awake or maybe he'll fall back asleep yes. i don't know if sarah said it but we kind of because of the way the naps fell, like bifurcated our lightning lane. So now we're just kind of switching off. Like I'm going on mine now with James. And almost immediately after, Sarah gets to go on James, with James to a small world. Here we go. My favorite ride in Magic Kingdom. He's slowly warming up to his ride. He liked it the most so far. Sometimes you you make concessions in life as a parent, apparently, in Disney World. And sometimes you just let your toddler sit on the ground so you can get your infant in the bassinet that you are using the house, everything, to stay away from the rain. I'm gonna say it even though I don't want to. Today's rain was the perfect amount of rain. Sorry if I'm stuck Was the perfect amount of rain to not make it humid but to drop the temperature by like 15 degrees. Yeah. Equating, or equaling, a really good Magic Kingdom night. So to everybody who's here today, enjoy the night for us. I think we dodged it great. Yeah, we did. And our stuff isn't soaked. Uh, might have run into trouble with T TSA about our wet rain covers, but it's Florida. They're Florida TSA, they should know. We're back, Pop Century. Gonna get our luggage from Bell Services, it is. 6.15, we have an, actually we have an hour and 15 minutes. Hour and 20 minutes before our mirrors get to, yeah. The uh, Tragical Express, probably properly termed that now, has arrived. <laughs> On the way to the airport we go. All right, time to go to security again with the, uh, the bugaboo. Let's see how this goes, but here's the beautiful MCO. This is make your way out back. If you have security on got some Star Wars bath toys that are keeping Jay-Z nice and busy during boarding. First root beer float. 
So we went for a walk to let Sarah do a yoga session without disturbing her. And we ended up walking by Wrigley. We don't have tickets to today's game, but here's Gallagher Way. And apparently it's National Ice Cream Day and this is a new Foxtrot opened up. So they're giving away free ice cream floats. We did get a donut for us to share and a donut for mom. But we couldn't deny free ice cream float. And the owner, the CEO of Foxtrot is gonna be throwing out the first pitch today, I guess. There you go, I got you. I got you. Yeah. Just building some towers. Got blue out in the background. It's a gloomy day in Chicago. It's like very rainy and overcast. Hey guys. Hey, there's Sarah. She's still in the vlog, I guess. And we what's still your, have no camera. What's your favorite episode of Bluey? And why is it so useful? <laughs> Good job. Good job. We got Jamesy this little helper stool. And <laughs> we got Caesar salads yesterday from Jewel. They didn't have any dressing. Just croutons, lettuce, and cheese. So I'm making some homemade Caesar dressing, and James is helping. <laughs> What's going on over there? He dropped his car. Oh, and Teddy had a sad face. We're having a very cozy day, and we're doing a lot of like now that we're back from Florida, we got nothing planned for a long time. We're doing a lot of like revamping like peter's self-care self -care. he went on his run um we're just starting a lot of new things and another thing that we're like gonna change up is jamesy's nap routine but we still haven't like figured it out so right now we're just like winding down in his room i did do yoga and we just, like, we spent yesterday, like, I don't know if you mentioned this, like, doing laundry, doing dishes, like, basically just getting everything back in order after just, we literally, like, got home from Florida. That's the cough that's lingering for Jamesy. Um, we literally, a lot of the luggage even stayed in our car, and we just were in survival mode, so. Feeling a little better overall. Look at this kid. He's definitely bigger. He's 10 pounds now. And, oh gosh, he's the last one to get sick. So, he's going to be the last one to get better, and I cannot wait. We were just watching James's birth vlog, and we look over, and he just climbed into the chair. What are you doing over there? You goofball? Oh, it feels a little different on your head, huh? Hi. Creepiest bar in the USA. Creepiest bar in the USA. We're on a walk. Jamesy is snoozing. Sorry about my hair. I forgot to grab a hat as we left and then we had to go to the car to get our bugaboo. And I was like, oh, I have my Cubs hat in the car. Didn't grab it then either. So we like, you said we were like gonna give an update about like basically this week. Um, we found out like right when we got home that we had been exposed to COVID. So we were testing. That and nervous because James started showing signs of sickness right. yeah. our last day, like the day we were leaving Florida. Right. You can kind of tell he's a little off in the vlog, I even remember being like, he wasn't like, didn't seem sick, he just seemed off. And then he started to have some, mostly runny nose. Yeah. So when you heard we were exposed, we were like, we for sure got it. Well then, we kept on testing negative and negative, like all of us would test and then we kind of were switching off testing. And our symptoms were a little different than the person who we were exposed to. Right. And so, just us three were sick, um, but then one, it was like the fourth night, Teddy started coughing, and we were like, well, let's just have them both looked over by the doctor. So they did a COVID test, a flu test, and an RSV test, and the RSV came back positive. So we don't have COVID, but it's a pretty significant virus still. Yes, and I, James, Sarah, and I are, I would say, on the mend. Yeah, I would say Today's I'm probably... The best. I've probably been like one day ahead with James being smaller. I feel like it's just like kicking his butt a little bit more. Um, but Teddy still just has this gnarly, gnarly cough. And I would say it's infrequent, yeah. but when it happens, 
it's it's bad. it's scary. Rough. Yeah. yeah. So. But it, he um, sleeps fine. Yeah, he sleeps great. So this whole week has basically just been rest on rest on rest. Peter went back. I didn't to work. work Monday or right. Tuesday or like half of Wednesday. Yeah. Because like Monday it was more like I didn't I didn't feel it really too bad Monday. I think I started feeling it Monday. Mm -hmm. But it was more like making sure that James is okay. Like what are we doing? What do we like? What's this look like? What do we? So I took Monday off, and then I woke up Tuesday, and Tuesday was like my peak, I think, yeah. worseness of. So I couldn't even work Tuesday. Right. But anyway, we're all on the mend. We're I'd all say. on the mend. We're like getting outside, getting fresh air. Um. Oh, and we. I left the camera on the plane, so yes. there was a lot, a lot so of two days. We were like, it was like just like. When we got off the plane, it like immediately began us being like, we were exposed. What we need to test. We need to quarantine. Yeah. So Southwest has not been helpful in returning yeah. our camera. And I knew exactly where it was. Um, but we're going to give it a month and hopefully it'll show up. If it doesn't show um, up, then we'll figure about, uh, about like what. So we're still going to vlog. We have our yeah. phones. We have an old M50 that's like does not all the features work that we might pull out. Yeah. We've got some other cameras that are older that we might pull out, but it, the phone will probably be the yeah. the bulk Primary. of the vlogging. Yeah. And like Sarah said, if, if it doesn't turn up in a month, because that's like the standard, I don't think it's going to show up because I feel like it would it show up by now. And But Southwest says like, give it 30 days. And I've had people like not even be like contacted by Southwest. Like it just like shows up on their doorstep. So, yeah. um, so between losing the camera, being sick. That's where we have been. Yeah. Um, but it's been a lot of resting. We watched yeah. Stranger Things season four. We yeah. did that. Um, and so yeah, we're, we're going to be back, but we're going to like slow roll back into things, obviously. But it's so like, I feel like our Chicago summer is fleeting. And so. And are we throwing in some Disney clips into this vault? Have we already? So. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we already have. Yeah. But we have a lot of phone footage from our last two days. If the camera shows up, like I want to be able to show you that those clips, but I'm mostly sad just about the memories that we have. So that we're gonna share what we can share in this yeah. vlog. This is a cool school garden. Look at this cool like CD decoration record in this tree. This is why I love living in the city. Living in Lakeview, you get artsy fartsy like this. And this is really cool too. Chicken coop at the local school. So, because the vlog is mostly gonna be the Disney footage, I didn't do a standard cook with me. Is that yummy? I made a Parmarosa sauce, which is basically Alfredo and like tomatoes and tomato juice with vegetables. I burned these Brussels sprouts, but they're still good. Burnt Brussels sprouts are delicious. Um, the, the internet's been raging about smashed Brussels sprouts. Pro tip, cook them for a little bit, then smash them. And just some lackluster <laughs> tomatoes, like seasoned up with balsamic vinegar. We love them like this, even if they look. You can tell by the perspiration on the wall. We're doing steam shower. We've been doing them. Peter hates it. <laughs> James is eating an ice pot while we're in here. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.